Hey, what's going on, guys? I wanted to cover um, why Neville Goddard um, wanted us to write down, or for his VIP members and my grandfather, why he taught his technique where to write down, I am, you are not to do something. Like, if you imagine, like, for example, he had the, the technique or the exercise where you go to sleep every night for a few nights, and you're climbing up the ladder. You're climbing up and down this ladder, and you're, you're imagining it in vivid detail that you're climbing this ladder you're falling asleep with the feeling of climbing a ladder, but yet he wants you to write down on five or ten pieces of paper that you are not to climb a ladder. I am not going to climb a ladder. I am not going to climb a ladder and write it on these five to ten pieces of paper and put them everywhere you're going to see them. In your, in your pocket, in your wallet, in your purse, in the bathroom, by your bed, um, on the refrigerator. You're putting this and you, and you are not to climb a ladder. You're to refuse this. So all day long, if somebody asks you, you're to say... No, I am not going to climb a ladder. I'm doing an exercise where I'm trying to disprove Neville Goddard. And that's why Neville Goddard did this, I believe, is to show everyone that what he was teaching was real. What you fall asleep with at night and you and you imagine in your what you put in your imagination and the feeling that you bring in that you're climbing this ladder and you're actually imagining it in vivid form, visualizing it. It's a feeling of climbing a ladder. You're falling asleep with that feeling. And you're imagining and seeing all, everything all at the same time with climbing this ladder. So it doesn't matter what you do during the day. It's going to happen, even if you don't want it to. If you go to sleep at night doing something, so you can, you can put this in any aspect or any category you want. You can, you can use this and apply this in any, in any aspect of your life. Whether it's relationships, making money, getting a new car, getting a new yacht, getting a jet, a, a Lear's jet if you want. Um, it doesn't matter, but if you imagine doing it and you land it correctly and you take it into from consciousness to your subconscious, then it's going to happen, guys. It's absolutely going to happen. And I think that's why Neville Goddard did this. In my personal opinion, I think that I think there are other variables to that, but I think the main reason why Neville Goddard did this with his VIP members and his audience was to show that your imagination is the controller of your life. It is the focal point and the creator of everything that happens in your life. And if you want to create something, all you have to do is fall asleep with it. And there's other, I get other comments and questions or comments and emails about um, other people's ideas of this, which I also agree with. I believe that, if there, that the subconscious does not understand what not means. So it, you're saying, I do not want to climb a ladder. So you're focusing on climbing of the ladder. And it doesn't recognize the not part of it, so it's attracting to it faster, which I think could be also be a variable of that. And that's why we're testing out this, our techniques and exercises that I'm putting, on, I'm posting on this channel, and so that we, I think it may draw to you even faster, because there's also, there's also the theory that if you're in a relationship and you're out, you're in a loving relationship, that a lot of other people find you more attractive because you're not, you're no longer looking. So you're detached from the from finding someone. You're not looking for anyone. You don't need a relationship. You're already in one. You're already loved. But that when you're attracting so much more love because you're already in love. So you're in the state of love. And I think that that can be correlated to what Neville Goddard was getting at with the do not with the do not do this. I am not to do this. Okay, you're writing it down and you're detaching yourself and you're you're telling the universe that you already have it. Because you're, you're like, no, you're pushing it away. You're pushing it away. You're telling the universe you already have it. So I think that's one of, that's, I think that is the main part of this, okay, is that Neville Goddard was trying to convince people. He was trying to convince everyone that your imagination is a control of your world and go ahead and try to disprove me is what he's saying. Go ahead. I want you to. You can't do it. You cannot disprove me. And I want you to do this exercise. Okay, I want you to do this exercise, climb this ladder, but yet... You're right. I don't want you to write down on a piece of paper that you're not to climb a ladder. And throughout the day, you are going to refuse to climb a ladder and you are still going to do it. And I actually did this exercise and it, and it was exactly that. I refused to climb a ladder. So something came into my world that actually almost forced me to climb the ladder because the universe already knew what I was going to do. If I saw somebody that was going to fall down from a ladder, they knew I was going to climb up that ladder. Even though I refused to, I was still going to do it to save somebody from falling. And it knew what it took for me to actually do that, for me to actually climb the ladder. All that came into place. It put this guy's life in danger in order for me to climb that ladder. But I don't know if he was going to fall or not, but it looked like he was a possibility he was. So I climbed the ladder to actually get to him. 
But um, I posted another video with the full story. I could put that at the end of this video if you want to watch that, where I talk about exactly what happened to me when I climbed the ladder and writing down, do not climb a ladder. But anyways, I wanted to cover that. And if you guys have your own opinions, I want to know about them in the column box below. But that's, those are, that's my take on it. I know a lot of people may have some other takes on it, but I'd like to hear about them. And I had some comments and questions and wanted me to cover this one more time. But um, I love you guys. And put your comments below and subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you haven't already. I love you guys and I'll talk to you tomorrow.